You are tired of your old car, which no one pays attention to. I want something extravagant, sporty, incendiary. Of course, your blue dream is Porsche, but you only have enough money for a new lot. So, a used 920 is exactly the car you need. The appearance at the Stuttgart Motor Show in 1975 of the Porsche, equipped with a water-cooled engine, which is located in the front of the car, became a sensation. The 924 went into production in 1976 and was the first front-engine mass-produced Porsche car. In addition, the new car was distinguished by an unusually low price for a model of this brand, about $10,000. This car provided the Stuttgart company with unprecedented sales volumes. In just 12 years of production, 135,400 copies of the 924th model with a 2.0-liter engine were sold, of which 121,289 were atmospheric. The 924 was originally a joint project between Porsche and VW. Subsequently, VW, under the influence of the energy crisis of 1971-74, refused to participate in this project and sold its rights to Porsche. The 924 was launched at the Audi plant in Neckersol. But this is not the only thing that Porsche and Audi have in common. From the latter, the car also got the engine. Only in 1986 did they begin to install motors of their own production, which were half of the V-shaped engine from the 928th model. The chassis of the Porsche 924 is based on the unconventional transaxle scheme used in Formula One racing cars in the 50s, namely, the engine is in front, and the gearbox with final drive and differential is in the back. This arrangement made it possible to make the weight distribution along the axis almost ideal, 52 48. The motor is connected to the gearbox by a pipe through which the drive shaft passes. To reduce the price of the Porsche 924, the developers went the easiest way, using many components and assemblies from VW and Audi. This also applies to some interior details. The low body with lifting headlights provided the 924 with good aerodynamics for that time. The drag coefficient, CX, is 0.36. The corrosion resistance of the body is quite high, as it is galvanized on both sides. But still there are weak points, these are the niches of the front fenders and the floor in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B legs of the driver and passenger. Due to the prestige of the brand and a small number of cars, problems may arise with the search for body parts. Although the cost of used parts is low, for example, the front fender is priced at $20 to $50, the hood is $100 to $250, the bumper is up to $100, and the windshield is $105. As befits a sports car with a seating formula 2 plus 2, only two will be comfortable in it. In the back seat, even a person of average height rests his head against the rear window. The handbrake, located to the left of the driver, in a tightened position interferes with normal disembarkation, landing. In the front seats, you have to sit sportily low. Ergonomics are carefully thought out, instruments are easy to read, all controls are at hand. Options for completing the Porsche 924 are quite diverse. Some cars are very richly equipped, they have power windows, branded rims, electric drives and heated exterior mirrors. The S version was assembled exclusively by prior order, and the level of equipment was chosen by its future owner. There are complaints about visibility, the hood descends steeply so the front dimension of the car is not visible. Visibility back is not better, because of the height, stern, and the small height of the glass, you have to navigate only by the side mirrors. Electrical equipment quite often presents surprises in the form of failure of some nodes. This is due to the oxidation of the contacts in the electrical connectors and the fuse box. Service workers recommend replacing the latter with a more modern counterpart. The water-cooled, fuel-injected four-cylinder inline engine is a modified version of the 2.0-liter engine designed for the Audi 100. Turbo engines are almost non-existent. Modification 924S, produced since 1986, was equipped with 2.5-liter engines of its own production. All powertrains found in the 924 are reliable and economical for a sports car. The timing belt should be replaced after 50,000 kilometers, because if it breaks, you cannot do without expensive repairs. All motors need periodic adjustment of the thermal clearances of the valves, which should be performed with increased noise in the operation of the power unit. The motor resource of the engine directly depends on the temperament of the former owner and the timeliness of service. There are units with a mileage of about 500,000 kilometers. Opening the hood, you need to pay attention to the generator mounting bracket. Due to insufficient strength, it is often deformed. 
this malfunction leads to damage to the lower radiator pipe and, as a result, to the flow of coolant. Only high-quality coolant recommended by the car manufacturer should be poured into the cooling system, otherwise the failure of the pump will not take long. When buying a 924, you must definitely check the compression in the engine. If it is below 10 atmospheres, then repairs are inevitable. Capitalka is not a cheap pleasure. From $500 to $700 for an Audi engine and from $1,500 to $2,000 for a Porsche engine, version S. The Porsche 924 was equipped with mechanical 4 and 5-speed gearboxes, as well as 3-speed automatics. All mechanical boxes, and there were 18, options, are highly reliable. Service workers did not remember a single case of failure of this note. Cars with automatic do not like extreme driving. If this is neglected, then the failure of the box is guaranteed. The cost of restoring an automatic transmission can be more than $100. Oil change in all boxes should be done every 60,000 kilometers. The gearbox rocker seal is not durable, over time it loses its tightness, spare part and labor, $20. The ideal clarity of gear shifting can be violated over time. This happens due to wear of the fluoroplastic bushings of the backstage, repair $35 to $40. In terms of handling and driving pleasure, the Porsche 924 is rightfully considered one of the best cars in its class. This was achieved thanks to an almost perfect weight distribution, a wide track and a low center of gravity. The car's suspension is independent, McPherson struts in front, and torsion bars in the back. The rear suspension needs periodic camber adjustment. Front, from VW Golf I, inexpensive to maintain. For example, the cost of silent blocks ranges from $5 to $15 a piece. The ball joint is a fairly reliable part and is able to go up to 100,000 kilometers new spare part, $15. But replacing shock absorbers can be a serious problem. After all, only original racks are suitable for the 924 at a price of $125 a piece. The braking system is very efficient. Disc brakes are installed at the front, drum brakes, which, moreover, need periodic adjustment, are installed at the rear, despite the sports orientation of the car. Only on the Esco did they begin to install a brake system from the 944, where all the brakes are disc, and the front ones are equipped with four piston calipers. The rack and pinion steering is not equipped with an amplifier. Sharp, informative steering with good feedback provokes active driving. Over time, a gear rack pair wears out in the steering mechanism, which manifests itself in increased backlash, repair, $50. The original rail has already been discontinued, so there are no other options other than restoring the old one. Tasteful car buying a Porsche 924 can be recommended to people who value individuality, brand prestige, and driving pleasure. The 924's handling, stability, and handling on the road are inferior to many modern sports cars. At the same time, this car is not very expensive to maintain, 